Hi everyone, but today I wanted to generate a logo uh, with ChatGPT4 and basically ask him create scalable vector graphics SVG going to draw a Twitter logo. I just wanted to see first if ChatGPT can actually do that. Uh, I mean, if you just ask ChatGPT to generate an image, it can do that. I mean, at least not now. So basically it's just uh, generating text. But if you ask ChatGPT4 to generate uh, an SVG one, then just copy it into an HTML document and render the page in age. And as you can see, a vector, well, it looks very similar, right? Cool. So basically now you know you can work with something regarding, for example, logos and other vector art that you want to create with ChatGPT4. And based on my experience, although I tried to give him some, you know, rough description of what I want, it actually led to some not that interesting results. Well, I, I wouldn't call it very creative results. So basically, uh, if you want to get something, you need to be quite specific. Other than they let ChatGPT4 to be creative, try to, well, just direct it uh, to what actually you want to achieve. And then you have a good chance that you're going to get what you want. For example, if you have specific things like describing, for example, if you want to say like, uh, for example, an arrow or um, a wheel or, or a curved line and colors, those type of things you constructed, a chat GPT-4 will be able to do it in most part. Now, of course, it will take a bit of time and I can't wait for those things to be absolutely like real time. We just type, you get what you, what you want. But right now, it takes a bit of time to generate the SVG, as you can see. And you can also, by the way, um, copy it from, you know, with a copy code uh, when you get it. And you can just copy it into an SVG file, .svg, or just into an HTML document and see it in a browser. So again, I copy the code again uh, next to the previous Twitter one. And let's say that, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it can be better. Can you see AR here? We got the AR critic logo. Mm, not that good. I try another one. And actually, look at that. Uh, the text, beautiful, huh? And this was um, quite interesting. I was going to ask him maybe to get inspired by some, you know, for example, the Facebook, Microsoft, and Apple's logo, and kind of mix and mesh and try to create something inspired by it. Uh, well, the result weren't pretty bad. So I asked him to create a funny logo inspired by the Apple company logo to see whether it can actually generate something funny out of it, you know, kind of uh, adding some kind of um, my own input and trying to mess around with it and come up with something. Well, in this case, something funny. Yeah, you're probably going to laugh at this, but <laughs> that's actually what I got. Yeah, I know it's funny, but it doesn't supposed to look that bad. I mean, it's supposed to be something that, well, something good. In this case, I actually asked him to generate a barbarian with axe uh, kind of logo and actually did it literally by writing barbarian with axe and with four stars, yellow stars. Well, as you can see, it's far from being perfect, far from being okay, actually. I also asked ChatGPT to just draw me a red fox, an SVG of a red fox with a tail and with a head, and that's what I got. I also insisted that to be actually more detailed, and that's what I got. And sometimes if I ask, for example, just generate a flag of the US, for example, it can generate that. And sometimes even with an error. But the thing is, with more careful planning with your words, uh, with the wording and description, and even just you want some parts, you know, of certain elements, shapes, uh, ChatGPT4 can actually do a good job at it. So yeah, so I believe if I spend more time, I'll be able to generate a cool logo or again, something similar with ChatGPT4. Uh, and again, it's all about experimenting, trying out different things. The thing is that if you try to create some kind of an image, and a vector image, well, now you know that it is possible. You just mention that you wanted an SVG and it will generate it uh, for you. And by the way, even try telling uh, ChatGPT to generate the, some, I give some idea for a logo and just to write the description. So you're going to speak in the way ChatGPT speaks. So I just took the description and asked ChatGPT to generate uh, the logo based on that in-depth description that it actually just gave me. Yeah, to save you a bit of time, we're gonna skip it quickly. And basically the results were something like that. So again, everything basically is simplified. I mean, I, didn't try, I tried to create something more complex. Maybe some of you can, but as you can see, it is limited with that specific capability. But of course it doesn't mean that you create other things, but if you want to create something with SVG, now you know that you so it's just interesting aspect you're taking the textual and try to make something that is more visual that text uh, chat GPT can actually do. And that's about this for this video. If you have any tips, tricks, something that more that 
I can learn and, and try with ChatGPT regarding uh, visual design? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on the next one.